thought I thought that I thought the nation of Israel was the white people that wear the little curls on the side of their hair. Ain't they hit him? They get they do the bar mitzvahs and they put the thing on top of their hair. Ain't 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 the prison houses full of them? Ain't it full of them? Come on. And they are hidden prison houses. No, it's not. The prison house is full of the black man. That's it's right. full of the Hispanic man, the Mexican, the Puerto Rican, the Haitian, the Indian. You understand? The Latinos, right. right? So you can understand. That's who the prison houses are filled with. It's not filled with the, 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 the people that call themselves Jews and are not. That's right. It's not filled with them people. Oh. The Bible says that these are the signs of my people. My people is in the, is in the prison. What? My people live in the ghetto. Right. My people was put on auction blocks and sold. You understand? My people built America for free. That's what the Bible says. Right. My people did that. Did yeah. all people do that? Did all people do that? Yeah. No, all people did not do that. The blacks, the, the Israelites did that. All the Israelites right. did that. You understand? Right. Not all people. Read on. They are for a prey. They are for what? For a prey. What? And none delivereth. And none delivereth, right? Does any can, can anyone has anyone been able to save us from going to prison at the rate we go to prison? Has anyone been able to save us from going to prison at the rate that we go? Have you ever heard of the prison, the school to prison pipeline? Have you ever heard of that before? That means that you go to school, and what happens after you get out of school? You go to, why is that? Because there's a system set up, all right, where you got, uh, 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 you got, uh, penalties for crimes like weed and marijuana that'll get you locked up. Right now it's legal, but how many of our brothers locked up in prison for smoking weed? It's legal now, though, but how many of our brothers is locked up? All right? Now, I'm not advocating smoking weed because the Bible says that you can't smoke. You can't get high. You got to be sober-minded. You think I'd be able to come out here and talk to y'all like this if I was high? No, I wouldn't be able to do that. You understand? Why? Because I need to be sober-minded to deal spiritually. I'm dealing with y'all on a spiritual level right now. I don't know if y'all know that. Everything we're speaking is coming out the Bible, and the laws of God are spiritual. And if you believe these words, it's going to change your life. That's what this is going to do. You understand? But you got to do what first? You got to believe in that thing that you don't see, just like you believe in that paycheck that you don't have. You got to use the same faith. You got to exercise that same belief. And if you do... What you gonna get at the end of the week? A paycheck from the white man. What you gonna get at the end of the lifetime? The kingdom of God. That's what you gonna get. If you believe. But the only way you're gonna get that is if you believe. You understand? And by that belief, it's gonna come what? Change. Just like by that belief comes you waking up, brushing your teeth in the morning. You gotta get in the car, go to work, take the bus, go where you gotta go, right? You gotta do all of that to get to work. You gotta do all of this to get God's kingdom. Come on. They are for a prey and none delivereth. For a spoil and none saith, restore. Read. Who among you will give in to this? Hey, you gonna listen to this? Who among you? The Bible say, who among you don't listen to this? Come on. Who will hearken and hear? Who, who's gonna listen? Who gonna take heed? Who gonna make a change? Come on. For the time to come, who gave Jacob for a spoil? Who gave Jacob for a spoil? You know, we already talked about it. Who gave Jacob for a spoil? So-called white man. You can see it right here on this sign. Who did that? Huh? Who did that? So-called white man did that. Right? Come on. And Israel to robbers. To Israel to who? To the robbers. God called them robbers. Why? Because we belong to the Most High God. We God's property. You understand? We God's property. That's who we are. So when the, when we had your, the, the oppressors, the so-called white man, come and, and, and steal us, you understand, from the coast of Africa and bring us over here on slave ships, they was, we were contraband that belonged to the Most High. You understand? We were God's property. You understand? God's property. Premium. You understand? Premium property that belonged to the Most High. So when we were stolen, don't you think God got judgment for that? Don't you think he got judgment for the, for the people that stole his property? When you? If somebody stole your car, you think they should just be able to keep it and you just go get another one? Make it free! Huh? Is that what you think? Somebody steal your car, they just keep it, you get another one? How does it work then? They need to return what they stole, right? And then it's going to be punishment for them doing that, so they do it no more again. That's what's going to happen to the so-called white man. Revelation chapter 13, verse 10. All right, we're going to show you God's judgment. And you tell me if it's fair. You tell me if it's fair, right? If I took your whole people, enslaved them, just like your whole people was enslaved, you understand? And then built... An institution, built a university, built a community, established a government on the blood of your family for free. 
they ain't pay them nothing. You understand? Then they got put to death, and then I buried them under the building. Under the building. You know, like the stores right here? Your people buried under the store. Right? Ain't got no tombstones, no nothing. Jesus. Right? Jesus. What, if I, what if I did that to your people? How would you feel about that? Would you be upset? Payback. What payback would you want? What, what, what if I said sorry, though? What if I was like... Look, I'm gonna build you. What if I? What if I was like, look, I'm gonna I'm build you because I did that, right? Uh -huh, two hundred, two hundred years later. Listen, hey, look, come kill them. Listen, good. Look, what if I did this though? Two hundred years later, right? Two hundred years later, I build a monument, and then I write all the names of the people I killed on the monument. I'm really gonna get. And then I'm like, look. We gonna call this. We gonna call it Juneteenth. That's right. You know what I'm saying? We gonna call it Juneteenth. Put my homies name Look, on the we, we gonna put all, just the ones we can remember though, cause we ain't remember all of them. They was just niggas, right? They was just niggas. So we, we ain't even remember all of them, right? What if I did that? What if I? What if I did that? And then, and then I, 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 I put their names on it. I called it Juneteenth, and then we had a day to 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 remember them. To remember those people I killed. To remember those people that 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 I, I had built my empire. To remember those people I helped establish my government, right? And we took one day out of the year, right, to 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 sing Oh Happy Day. What if I did that? How would you feel? Huh? It wouldn't be satisfying for you. All right. What about the people that we put under the ground, right? The people we put under the ground, if we could talk to them, do you think they would be satisfied with that monument that I built for them? What what, what do you think they would want? Everything. What do you think they would want? I want everything. Everything they work for, man. All right, you, you tell me if they would want this. Read what you got. Come on. The book of Revelation, chapter 13, verse 10. He that leadeth into captivity. What does the Bible say? He that leadeth into captivity shall go. Shall what? Shall go. Shall go where? Shall go into captivity. You think That's they'd right? be satisfied with that? <laughs> huh? You think your people would be satisfied with that? You don't think so? He that led them into captivity, right? So the people that made them slaves, right? The Bible says if a people takes your people and makes them slaves, how they repay that is now they got to be your slaves. That's right. Is that just? Huh? Is that just? That sound good to y'all? Huh? That sound like good pay? You laughing, but what are we reading? The Holy Bible. <laughs> what do we right? we reading? The, the same one, the the same one that the white man said that that we say the white man wrote. We reading the same Bible that we say, oh, that's that's the white man's book, right? We reading the same Bible, but the same Bible we say is the white man's book, say the white man is going into slavery. Right. The same Bible, the same one we say the white man wrote, say the white man is going into slavery. My man right here, who took us? Who took your people into slavery? 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 White people took your people into slavery, right? Read this again, come on. He that leadeth into captivity. Who took your people into captivity? White people, come on. Shall go into captivity. The Bible says who's going into captivity? Say it again. Who's going into captivity? Who? The white people. You understand? All your so-called white people is going where? Captivity. That's what the Bible says. Y'all didn't know that, did y'all? Y'all thought this was it? Y'all thought this was it right here? This was the end of the game. This was the story right here. This was the grand finale. <laughs> That's what y'all thought. <laughs> y'all, oh y'all thought we got Black History Month and we was good now. That's what y'all thought. Oh, they gave us June 10. We good now. That's what y'all thought. That's what y'all thought. How many y'all heard of Black History Month? Raise your hand. What month is it? Black History Month. What month is it? It's February. All right. June 10. What is that? Right. All right, so y'all thought that that's all we was going to get for this right here? Y'all thought we was going to get Black History Month? And y'all thought we was gonna get y'all thought we was gonna get Juneteenth and then, and then that was it? Oh and the Martin Luther King Day? Can't forget about Martin Luther King Day. Y'all thought we was gonna get that too? Huh? That's how they treat us. Right, that's how, that's all we got. See, these are facts. What else we got for this slavery right here? What else have we received? What else have we received besides baby mamas, baby daddies, right? What else have we received? Besides children growing up with no fathers in their home, mothers that's raising little children that's going through the prison to school pipeline, school to prison pipeline, right? That's where the little boys is going. They're going straight to prison, 
right? They, or they selling drugs to each other, or they killing each other in the street. And then you know what they doing after they kill each other? They make music about it. Y'all know what I'm talking about? It's called drill music. You heard of that before? Is the white man making drill music? Is the Chinese man making drill music? Is the Japanese man making drill music? Is the Nigerians in Africa and the Egyptians and the uh, uh, Moroccans and the Cape Verdeans are they making drill music today? Who's making drill music about killing their brothers? Black people are doing that, right? Black people are doing that. We have become the astonishments, not the other nations. That's us today. God said that that would happen to us, right? Read. He that killeth with the sword, right? Since he killed with the sword, read it from the beginning. Come on. He that leadeth into captivity. You know why we make drill music today? You know why we killing each other in the street today? Why we stealing from each other today? Why we got baby mamas today? Why the, why the mamas is raising little boys to go straight into prison today? You know why? It's a result of this captivity right here. Right. And we never went into captivity. We wouldn't be trying to pull ourselves up by our own bootstraps, right? We would be ahead. We trying to catch up. They 400 years ahead of us. We trying to catch up. They had us in slavery for 400 years. Right? And we're trying to catch for long, really longer than that. You count all the captivities. All the captivities and captivities and captivities. Longer than 400 years, we was enslaved. But we, we, posed, to, we posed to get ahead by, 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 by getting a, a Juneteenth and a, and, a, and a Martin Luther King Day and a, and a, and a, and a, and a, uh, a Black History Month. We're going to get ahead like that? No. Uh-uh. God say, this is how you're going to get ahead right here. I'm going to make it even for you. Come on. He that leadeth into captivity. God say he that led into captivity. Who led us into captivity? The so-called white man. Come on. Shall go into captivity. God say the so-called white man is going into captivity. Did you know that? Did you know that? The white man, the, we're reading the Bible. It says the man that led a nation into slavery is going into slavery. That's what the Bible says. The same Bible that you thought said the white man was God. No, the Bible says that Christ was a black man that had skin like brass and woolly hair. Right. And God say, God say that his people is taking the white man into slavery. The so-called white man. That's what the Bible says. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed 